Okay, well, that's good. Right on time, too. I need a bow. You need the bonerang. Yep. Now, back down and up again. Yeah, th this temple... The puzzles of this temple, while interesting, always did kind of bug me a bit because you wound up just backtracking so often. Uh, just wait till the fire dungeon. I actually hate the fire dungeon worse than the uh, water dungeon here. I've got the water dungeon down to the science. Yeah, I, rem I, remem I remember that. The fire dungeon never bothered me so much because as soon as I got the hammer, I put on the beetles and started bashing the crap out of everything. Though I do have to admit, the fire temple bug did still bug me more than the water temple. The water temple was just monotonous. Not nothing worth nothing worth hating. Just oh come on, can I be done you now? Jerk. You can't hit it with your hook shot. This corridor is crooked! Holy crap, I would have never noticed if you hadn't pointed it out, Navi! Oh. Uh, Wallmasters. They're not a huge pain in the butt here. No, they're not, but I still hate them. I will always hate Wallmasters. Yay, I'm almost to the Boner Arrows. Mm hmm. Just through this door, I think. Oh, yeah. Mini-boss! Mini-boss oh, yeah. who can walk over the pit. While it, while it is a little bit of a silly, ridiculous whatever, I can completely understand why Nintendo made that choice. Because otherwise you... Otherwise, this fight would be over the moment it started, because he just walked over that pit. Well, that, and it's their way of saying, okay, you're doing three of them instead of just two. Huh? How, how does one walking on air mean that? Uh, it's their excuse to have the, float, the platform drop. No. Yeah. Okay. Good thing, good thing they programmed, uh, the, good thing uh, these, so. yeah, it's a good thing these don't have, uh, actual aggro things, otherwise they probably would have aggroed from the top of that. Well, they didn't spawn into the platform at all. Precisely. What, what the, the hell? hell? I've never had them come back to life before. Yeah. That that's new. That that's new to me. In however many in however many years that we've both been playing this game, that is the first time that has ever happened to either of us. And you've gone completionist on this game. It just shows that I'm doing a crappy job this time. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. As you can see in aim, Navi will scream at you. Well, oh, time to refill some health. Okie dokie. No fairy this time, though. You're right. You've just been killing living pots. Now let's do the other side first. Yeah. I thought I came out the correct side. And mini boss again. And the pots are back. But they don't have anything in them. Right. It's only the uh, grass that refills. Yeah. 
one, one time I was playing this with my friend Josh, we were, you know, I'd just gotten to the Gerudo Desert, and as, as he's look, he's looking down, he's go and we're just playing around, looking down. So, I want, it, sneaking around them has got to be a bit of a pain in the ass. Nope. Get up, get up there and just start just, and then shooting them from the uh, top. Uh, Josh just looks at me. How can you? How can you have such crappy aim in real life, but in a video game you're a freaking sniper? I proved that time and again. I proved that time and again, even in first-person shooters, which make make me sick. If I've got the time to set up up a shot, even if the target's moving, I can be evil. The the funnest one I did. It was a uh, Goldeneye map. My friend was my friend had just barely spawned, and all of a sudden he hears this tink tink tink. Looks down as a grenade blows up right at his feet. I was on the other side of the map. I can kind of with a tank, but the only sniper <laughs> rifle in a game, remember. only sniper rifle in a game that I've ever been good with was. Uh, the far shot in oh, Perfect Dark. God. The one that let me shoot through walls. Oh, oh, God, I remember. There's a reason all my friends stopped playing Perfect Dark. Yeah, there's a reason I stopped too. Jeez. Uh, though, I have to admit, I did have some fun in Perfect Dark as the alien. Uh, Elvis. It's an, you know, Elvis is already small. And my, I then, uh... <laughs> You're too close to both of them. I don't I think it's going to let me sh shoot through the stairs. Yeah. Trust me, I play Dark Souls. I know how these things go. <laughs> the air caught the air. Oh, you, you, have, you have not seen some of the magnificent shots I had that the air caught the air in Dark Souls. It gets freaking irritating. Oh, anyway, back to, uh, back to Perfect Dark as Elvis. The only weapon I had handy was the, uh, Proxy Mine. And I don't remember whether it was you or I was playing the game with someone else, but someone opens the door and I immediately threw the grenade right on the guy's crotch. The only problem with that was he was still running towards me, so... He wound up teabagging me to death with a mine. It's been a very long time since I played Perfect Dark. Yeah, if I could, if I could handle a first-person shooter for more than 15-20 minutes, I'd you know, consider playing again. It, it one thing that's really weird in a lot of games, I tend to claim to be the tank. But in games like Ma in the entire Mass Effect series and a lot of other games, I wind I wind up playing uh, support more. Particularly, I I in Mass Effect I excel with the sniper rifle. Though, oh, it was a Metal Gear Solid game my friend James was playing. Mm -hmm. I don't remember... Snake Eater, that's it. It was Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater. He made sure he killed everyone in the game that he came across. In a very... particular fashion. In the end, in the end of the game, you... you're walking, you're walking down a river against a current... against a whole bunch of ghosts, which is everyone in the game you killed. Uh -huh. Every single ghost in that game was holding his balls because that's how James had killed them all. It, it, it was, it was something to see, because they're just, they're all walking, they're all walking along. Oh god, my balls! But if you mute it, it looks like they're all walking down a river beca er, because that's where the men's room went. I'm liking a key. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, see, I've, I've, I've never played that, but I did play uh, Splinter Cell Chaos Theory once upon a time, I think. Mm -hmm. Not for very long, like, just briefly. Uh, but as I recall, if I only have, I only did the first level. Okay. I made sure not to kill anybody. Really? Impressive. Specifically, I knocked them all out, and I locked them all in a room on top of each other, and I think they were naked. It was the big gay pile. Wait a second. So that that way they would all wake up. I remember that one. I was the one helping you drag them back to that room. That was my sole job. He, knock, he knocks them out, and then we both drag them back to that room. Oh, God, I remember that. Huh, sir. Nope. No chesticles down there. Because, uh, I need a key. Yes, you do. Oh, okay, there is a chest in that room, I just don't know. Oh, yeah, it's on the wall. Plus, it's the master key, so it's not the one I need. Oh, okay. There is a, ch there is a uh, chest in here. I am getting so dizzy. Thank you. Why don't they give you nuts? Is that how they want you to beat them? With nuts? I don't know. Nuts. Kick them in the nuts! Kick them in the nards! Wolfman ain't got no nards! Kick them there anyway! I am not entirely sure I've seen that movie all the way through. I have seen all of the movie, but I don't think I've seen all of it in one sitting. No, 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 you've seen it all in one sitting. You're the one who made sure I sat through the whole thing. Oh, but there was there was this one movie. I complete I I've forgotten what it's called again. But up until a year ago, I I I was convinced this movie was some weird fever dream I had. Because anytime I described it, no one would know what the hell I was talking about. It it was another one of these a group of a group of uh, boys go on this adventure. At least I think it was boys. It could have been just a group of kid and all. But there's a, this big round, like, s red space pod thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they built it. Yeah. But and any time anytime ever since I saw that movie once that I tried describing it, no one had ever seen it. Ever. Uh, to the point where I, again, became convinced I just had a fever dream. Uh, the Nostalgia Critic actually featured it on one of his top 11 lists, so oh, I made really? sure to write down the title. When he did. Okay. Well, it's on my phone and I'm too lazy to grab my phone right now because I'm playing this right yeah, now. Yeah, you're playing. Um, I'm at, I, I'll just have I'll just have to uh, watch that. Oh, now you're getting your phone because it's on break. Yeah, got the key. Uh, I'll Explorers. Explorers, yes. Uh. Uh. Whee! Down you go. As it just falls you down and grabs you. Don't worry, I'll save you! At least these ones don't make don't make keep you from using your sword. Are there any that do that in this one? There might be. I can't remember. Yeah, I can't either. I know the like like just eats your tunic. It tries to strip link. Oh god. Tentacle porn. It's stripping Link inside of its mouth. That's just HP. And a skull tall, apparently. How many how many am I up to now? Uh, 35. 35. So, 15 more. Well, 15 more for you. 15 more that matter. Yep. Because you like kicking that guy as a... Well, cutting that guy. Yeah. 
that's a Wallmaster wannabe. Now, I don't know whether that or an actual spider in real life would terrify me more. That in real life or just a regular spider? Well, a spider that size, I would hope. I, I mean, uh, a spider I... that size, I'm dead of a heart attack. Because, I mean, I know you don't like spiders, but they can't be that bad, can they? Mm, it, it's a phobia. It's, ir it's an irrational fear. I completely understand my fear is, for the most part, unfounded. Until you get into, like, Black Widow's Brown and Clues, that sort of thing. And I, I've, come, I've come to terms with a lot of my issues with spiders, so they've got to be... I'll, I'll be afraid of them if I can see their fangs now. Or big close-up pictures of them. But again, it's just like my fear of heights. It's an irrational thing. Because any time where I actually am high, high up enough that I'm gonna be scared of it, I'm also on a, I'm also typically on a very secure, well-trusted platform. It's just when, it's just when uh, people are trying to convince me to jump off of it that the real panic sets in. I, I totally would have pushed you. Yes, I know. That's why I'm glad you, you weren't behind me. Oh, I was behind you. It's just... Okay, I'm glad there was someone between us keeping you from pushing me. I don't know. I wonder if there are any bungee places left open near here. I don't know. I don't think so. I think the closest ones might be in Las Vegas. Yeah. And they don't have that slingshot one where you get in the ball and it just whips you back and forth. Oh, no, but... Because uh, that's one I'd try. But but uh, the amusement park up north has one of those. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, if I'm if I'm going there, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go on the. Um... Hey, I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> sky coaster? No, 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 no. I... Well, I don't know. Is it the sky coaster where you where you sit in this thing and it launches you up and then oh. you just kind of bounce up and down for a bit and then go down? No, I can't remember what that one was. So, yeah. Cause, Cause that's the one I. It surprised me how much I liked that one. You know, people might get the, fe the sense that I'm an adrenaline junkie, but I'm really not because it's been so long since I've done any of this. Yeah, I know. Well, uh, more than five years. Actually, closer to ten. Now to jump down to the giant checkerboard. And besides... Most adrenaline junkies aren't satisfied with video games. But we'll get through the checkerboard in a little bit. <laughs> 